Hey everybody, long time no see, but welcome back to Planet Coaster, and welcome back to Silverwood. Uh, so I decided to take a very, very long break and kind of reevaluate a bunch of things in my life um, after uh, losing someone who was very important to me. Um, not like, you know, not like a family death or something like that, just, uh, uh, just a breakup, a uh, relationship, and I've decided that, you know, uh, maybe I'm just not cut out for relationships. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about that. I'm not here to be depressing. I'm not here to do anything like that. I'm here to show off the newest progress of Silverwood, which I know you guys must really, really like because we took a poll and Silverwood was the number one park of that poll. Um, I'm not going to say it was unanimous, but it won by a long shot. So King's Falls coming in second, this of you coming in third. Uh, Crystal Gardens wasn't even on there because it was only a park. It was only a list of parks that I'm currently working on, not parks that I have worked on in the past. So, but like I said, Silverwood number one video or number one video series that I have uh, as far as going on on the, uh, on the channel right now. Uh, so what better way to kind of come back than to be working on this and I've found I've been working on this for like the last week and I found that I've actually really kind of been enjoying working on it um, Crystal Gardens came from having a long breakup and then or a breakup from a relationship that was a, a really long time in the making and then uh, I started working on Silverwood after I finished up Crystal Gardens and now I've found that working in this park has kind of gave me, um, I don't know, it, it, I'm, not, I'm not sure exactly how I'm trying to say it or exactly what I'm trying to say, but uh, a new lease on, on life, I guess you could say. Well, not life per se, but I, I'm, in, I'm enjoying working on the park. I, I, it, all, it all boils down to that. I'm really enjoying, I've been really enjoying working on the park again. Um, I've been playing other games and stuff that we have for a while. I came back to Twitch before I came back to YouTube, and I, I started playing some other games. But you know, of course, only my only my biggest fans showed up for those, and uh, I, you know, I just I wasn't in the mood to play Planet Coaster because I just wasn't feeling creative at all. Um, finally, decided that you know what, quit moping around, get your ass in gear, and work on this part. So that's what I did. Uh, I started working on it and um, kind of got a renewed lease on the park's life. Yeah, let's let's say that. A renewed lease on this park's life. Um, and then now I just need to get back into King's Falls as well and kind of start working on that. So as you can see, we're kind of taking a, a quick stroll through the park, kind of showing off everything that we have been working on. Uh, we started further up front this time around than what I usually do. I usually kind of start right there at the very beginning where you're actually in the park. This time I started at the, uh, by the parking lot, the ticket booths, and we're making our way back through here, looking at everything we've done so far over the last year, uh, and we're going to head down into this area over here to show you what I have been working on. So you guys have seen some of this. You've seen the Lumberjack or the Lumberjack Swings. I'm not sure what we're going to call them just yet. Right now, I think I just call them Lumberjack, but the Lumberjack Swings kind of sound good. We're going to go down here. Now, this ride, this giant Frisbee, doesn't have a name as of yet. I've been giving some really good names, um, like all kind of related to tornadoes, and I don't know if I really want to do a tornado type theme for this. Um, Another person, actually same person, who gave me all the other ones, and, and they're really great names. I also suggested a calling like Sheriff Star or something like that, but that that kind of makes it seem too Old West, and that's really not the theme of the park that we're going for. Um, it, it's not an Old West park, it's a frontier park, it's a wilderness park, it's a rustic park, it's a, a Silver Dollar City Dollywood kind of park, and that's... Uh, Kind of where I wanted to to kind of go into and, and give it the name. So I don't know what we're gonna call this as of yet. Um, if you guys want to make some suggestions in the comments below, I will be all ears. Uh, no, I, I don't know if I will pick one of those names, but you know, if you want to make some suggestions, I'm all ears. But yeah, just I don't know the whole twister tornado kind of theme. I think we've played out a little too much already in the park, so I don't really want to do something like that. 
Um, but as you can see, I've made this really cool kind of circular kind of uh, queue line. And we've got some people going around through there. And we've just kind of put it center place uh, right here, right in the middle of this area. I'm going to go up for an overhead view right here real quick to kind of show this off. So as you can see, it's kind of right there, right in the middle of everything right there. Very centered. It's one of the park's newer attractions, we will say, maybe put in early 2000s. I've also got this really cool building right here, which I have been working on. I still got to do some more work to it as far as colors and some more details and stuff to it. Uh, but if we head up here behind it, you'll see it's kind of a split building, which is something that kind of took a little bit of work to kind of get done. So we've got the bottom part down here, right? And then if we go up and around, up here to this area, uh, which I'm also going to open up right there. I put those banisters. I kind of closed it up a little too much, but I'm going to try to like, fix that. Anyway, uh, this right here, we're also going to kind of make this open so you can kind of go into the upper floor right here as well. And that will be kind of good, I think. So, and then you've got the swing where it kind of swings up through here, kind of where we're looking. You can see our coaster, our RMC coaster in the background. Right now it's called Desperado, but I'm actually thinking about maybe changing the name to maybe something else. Uh, I don't know what yet, but uh, I've been working on the station for that and kind of doing the foliage and scenery work and stuff around it. So uh, you can see it's got supports and things already on it up there. But that's not what we're looking at today. Uh, we are just looking at this really cool area. Uh, let's take a look at, this is something else I've been working on right here, is these bathrooms. I don't know where these people are getting these hats at, because uh, there's no hat sales place anywhere in this park, so I don't know exactly where they're getting those hats at. But anyway, we've got bathrooms right here. Love these awesome little signs that somebody finally made. I think it was Idro, maybe, or Do of the Sea. It was either Do of the Sea or Idro, one or the other, who made these, uh, these really cool toilet signs finally on the workshop they come in two different flavors one pointing left one pointing right and uh, we needed those because the in-game toilet signs were kind of awful so uh, glad to see that somebody finally decided to work on those uh, then we got this building over here which is modeled slightly after the White River Mercantile at Silver Dollar City of course, I kind of threw my own touch on it. Really like how that came out. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, we got some trees here that I put in the middle of the path, which people will probably walk through if I don't fix those. I've already seen them do it. Uh, I've also got this building over here, which is modeled after something from, I want to say, Dollywood. We got the rocking chairs and stuff out there. I don't know what the interior of this building is going to be just yet. So that's why it's kind of empty right now. I, I really don't know. I'm kind of thinking maybe maybe that might be like a pottery barn or something. Or maybe it might be like a, I don't know, like a Crackle Barrel type of restaurant. Something like that. Not actually be Crackle Barrel, but like a Crackle Barrel type of restaurant. Maybe I might put like uh, multiple quick serve restaurants or something in there. And you know, that's why we have rocking chairs and stuff out in front, maybe. But this is the general area. This is kind of what I have been working on for the last little bit. And I kind of wanted to give you guys, um, just kind of let you know I'm back. You know, uh, I'm not dead. So apparently some people maybe thought that my last message was maybe like a you know, maybe I was feeling suicidal, and and you know, I was feeling down. I really was. I, I was I was feeling quite blue, but uh, I'm I'm over that at this point. I'm good. Uh, I'm alive. I'm alive and well. We're, I'm not gonna kill off the channel. Nothing like that. Uh, we're gonna continue working on this park. Um, I'm not gonna get it done by the end of the year, like at all. But. Um, we should get kind of close to being done with it. Right now, all the rides and everything, all the attractions that are out there are are up and running in the park. Um, I think everything is pretty good. I'm happy with the way most things are coming out. Right now, at this point, it's just detail work. Details, details, details. Buildings, lots of buildings. Got to like fill up every kind of spot that we can with buildings. 
Yeah, if you've ever seen any walkthroughs of Dollywood or Silver Dollar City, you'll know that you know the park is just full of like all kinds of little buildings and stuff. And there's a ton of things I want to still add to the park that we haven't gotten a chance to add yet, but we're, we're working on it. So next video will probably be showcasing um, our RMC coaster up there. I'll be showing more of it off than just what you're seeing here, and we will kind of look into that. So. Yeah, I, I guess that is pretty much it and everything that I have to kind of talk about right now at the moment. So, yeah, uh, like I said, I'm not dead. I'm alive and well, and we're going to come back into the channel. I will say this, though, about the channel. I'm probably not going to be uploading as much anymore. Um, I'm, I have been working. I've only been working part-time, but they are giving me more hours and stuff at work, which is going to make it a little harder to stream and make videos and things, so... Oh, that's neat. I actually literally caught it with a train going up the lift hill as one is going under it. Nice. That was a good catch. So, um, I, I'm going to try to upload as much as I possibly can, but I won't be able to do daily uploads or anything like that. You might see maybe two or three videos a week from me, if, if that. Uh, and I will try to be doing some Planet Coaster stuff. I'm also going to try to be doing some Planet Zoo stuff because Planet Zoo is coming out. And I want to get back into City Skylines and finish what I was doing in there. Um, and try to finish up some of my other series and stuff as well. So I'll try to do about two or three videos a week if I can. No promises. That's really all I can say. Um, I do also want to give a heads up. For those who are my patrons, I will be doing a um, Halloween Patreon episode for Phoenix Beach. So keep your eye out for that. And yeah, that's all. So hope you guys in, uh, are enjoying this little look at Silverwood, my return to YouTube. And I will see you guys in the next video. Wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Thanks for watching, guys. What's up, everybody? Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and click on the bell to stay on top of all my new videos and live streaming events here on YouTube. I also want to give a huge shout out to all the names you see on the right for their support through donations, Patreon, and through Twitch subs. If you would like to join their ranks and you are able, you can do so by clicking on any of those links in the video description down below. No worries, though. If you don't like giving away money like that, you can still support the channel by purchasing games or anything through Green Man Gaming, through Humble Bundle, or through Amazon by clicking on my links and making your purchase. A little bit of that goes towards me to support the channel. If you still can't get enough of me, you can always check me out live on twitch.tv and stay up to date with me on Twitter as well. Now that's going to be it, but I can't say thank you enough for all your support here on the channel. Wherever you guys are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. See you later.